Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new episode on Valley Spring. We uh, need to get some crops in the ground now because we've not actually drilled anything yet this since harvest and uh, we're running out of time really because the last month really for drilling is October which is next month. I think there might be a few crops you can drill a bit later into the winter, November maybe, but a lot of them the cut off is October so I want to try and get something in the ground, at least a few fields drilled for the winter if possible. So. I'll start off by uh, spreading some slurry because that'll reduce the amount of nitrogen needed. Um, I think I'll do this field directly in front of me now with uh, slurry. And then we'll probably drill this with canola, I think. And then probably one of the other fields will put something else in, like uh, peas or linseed. We'll have a think about that, but yeah. First of all, I want to get some slurry spread because then yeah, we're reducing the amount of um, fertiliser we need to put on or artificial fertiliser anyway because um, obviously fl slurry is free so we want to be making as much use of that as possible it would be nice to have a slightly wider spreader really but for that we'd need a probably bigger tractor although you know, the fence probably would power a bigger spreader um, so yeah that's something I'd probably look at getting at some point but I think we'll need a bit more money as well to do that so I'll have to make do with this one for now so yeah I think what I'll do I'll, I'll continue with this, spreading this with slurry Probably take a few tanks to fill it, a few loads to uh, to finish it. I mean, um, and then we'll get it drilled. So, like I said, I think this one probably will do as canola. I don't need a really big field of canola this time. I think we'll probably do the big big field as another crop, maybe peas or something. Um, yeah, I'll have a think about that. But yeah, for now, I'll continue with the slurry spreading. While that fills we've got the uh, slurry done now so we'll let the tanker fill up again and we'll switch over to this tractor. The trailer's still on it so what we might do actually before we start drilling is just get a load of wheat for the ducks and give them to the ducks. That'll keep the feed trough full for a bit longer. Under here where the auger is. So we only need a full load, probably just a couple of thousand litres will do. Just keep the, uh, the trough tops up and then we'll switch over to the drill. We'll get that fill drill. The grass is looking good, no weeds in it, nice to see. <laughs> Sometimes it looks a bit of a mess. How many eggs have we got? Oh, looks like we've got a full pallet. That's good. First full pallet of eggs for the ducks. That'd be good to sell at some point. Don't know what the prices are like. I think it just calls it eggs, I don't think it's different to the chicken eggs, I think it's just eggs, but I'll double check that. Yeah, perfect amount really. Yeah, it just says eggs, so that'll be the same as chicken eggs. Really the only difference is the visual uh, animation of the whatever the, uh, the animal is, so instead of chickens we've got ducks, which is nice. Something different, but it's still eggs as the, as the product. Um, so that's just a tiny bit, just 14 litres in there, so we'll leave that um, and then we'll go over and get the drill. 
So like I said, this is going to be drilled with canola on this field. It's only a smallish field, so we don't want to do the big fields kind of this time. I think it was actually the big, biggest field was linseed last harvest, so I think we'll do something different completely now. I think we'll probably do peas in the biggest field. Unfortunately, this drill doesn't do fertiliser as well, so that's going to have to be sprayed with some more fertiliser. Because canola is one of the most um, demanding crops for fertiliser, nitrogen. So, uh, yeah, it definitely will need more. But at least having the slurry spread on there was going to reduce the amount we're going to need, which is good. So I'll get the crop selected, the right crop. There's many to choose from. I like that the new game, FS25, is going to have actual writing on the, uh, the animation, on the, on the logo, whatever you call it. Um, so it's actually going to say canola rather than just having a picture of it. I know the uh, most of them now, I know the pictures mostly, but it's always nice if you just forget or just as a visual cue to have some writing to say what it actually is. I think we probably should put the header back on the combine as well, or put the header back on the trailer. Um, it's all sat here, slightly in the way, so uh, we're going to drill here slightly, so we're going to better move that soon. Um, what I might do is just get this just get the headlands done first and then put the helper on and then that can work on the drilling while I just do sort the combine out. Oh, another nice new feature I like on the new game, FS25, is it looks like the AI helper is going to be able to do the entire field. So if I start with the headlands, like I'm doing now, it will actually do the headlands and then it will work up and down the field and hopefully not miss anything, which would be really nice. Looking forward to that, that'd be Really, that is really needed actually because the although it's handy to have the AI helper it can sometimes not necessarily make life easy it can make it well not it does help but it uh, you can end up still having to do quite a lot of the work yourself like I am now doing the headlands because it wouldn't really do the headlands it misses bits when it turns around so uh, it will be a big improvement by the looks of that which is desperately needed in the game because other games as I'm sure you know have very very intelligent AI now can do an awful lot, really interactive AI on, on a lot of these big games. So, yeah, the farming uh, simulator AI is in desperate need of an overhaul, I think. But it looks like they have sorted it, hopefully, from what I've seen. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, get on with doing this drilling and then I'll probably move the combine header trailer out of the way.
the Nova field drilled. We do also have this field, which I think I've already spread with slurry, so this is ready to drill as well. As I'll get it done now while I've got the drill on. Um, what should I put in this one? Um, I was thinking possibly linseed. This one hasn't been linseed yet. There we go. Let's do linseed. So again, I will do the headlands of this one and then probably get the help to take over. As you saw, I got the combine back, put it in the shed, and I've also just been spreading that big field with some slurry as well, getting that one ready to drill. I won't be drilling that one today, but that will need doing at some point. And that big one was linseed last time, which means we don't want to be doing linseed again. Or canary looks, it was canary before that. So I'm thinking probably peas or field beans, maybe for that one. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, I will continue the drilling in this field and then uh, put it on the helper to finish off while I continue the spreading of the slurry. And then both the fields with drill will need rolling as well, so that'll be the next job once the drilling's done. So yeah, just get two fields drilled today, then we can get them rolled as well. So yeah, we'll continue with this. Okay, so yeah, the uh, drilling is now complete. This is the very last bit to do. And that's the linseed done. And obviously we've already done the canola as well, so that's all the drilling done now. Just noticed a little bit there that's been missed. I thought that might happen. I only did one lap around the headland on this bottom end, so this is what happens. And if you don't do any headlands first, yeah, it's uh, gonna look an absolute mess, or the helper just gets stuck and just gives up. So that's why I have to do the headlands first. Yep, once that's done, that'll be it. And then we'll get the rolls on. So the next job will be to get these two fields that we've just drilled and rolled. And then those fields will be ready for growing, really. And uh, they will need a bit of um, fertiliser and herbicide as well. But that can be done once they've germinated. It doesn't have to be done today. So, uh, yeah, I'll just put this drill back. And then we'll get the rolls on, which I think are in the shed around the back. There they are, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, there they are. Right, so I'll get these on. Then we can start the rolling. Probably start with the field down the bottom. It's a slightly bigger field. And then I'll come back up here and do that one that we've just drilled there with the linseed. I think I'll have to time lapse the rolling as well because it's uh, again a fairly slow job. Although I might, what I could do, I don't know whether I'll do it myself or whether I should just get the help to do it. But again, I'll have to do the headlands first on that. I've still got about half of the big field to spread with slurry, so I could continue that while the help does the rolling. I'm not sure what would be more efficient really. It just depends on how the helper gets on with the rolling. Yeah, I might well do probably with this one, just see how it goes. I'll do the headlands and then sit it off on the helper again for the rolling and then I'll continue with my uh, slurry spreading. 
so that is quite a big field to spread. It's uh, taking a while, but we've we've done about half. I'm not sure if we're going to run out of slurry before we get finished. Actually, I'm not sure. I haven't checked that to see how much slurry we've got left. I might as well check that now while I think about it. Just let's have a quick look. Um, animals, slurry, twenty-four thousand. Hmm. Yeah, that probably isn't going to be enough to finish the field. But I can spread what I've got anyway, and then uh, we do the rest another time. There's no urgency because we're not going to drill that one today anyway. Yep, so what I'll do then, yep, I'll get the headlands of this one rolled, set it off on the helper, and then we'll continue with the slurry spreading until we run out of that. like the helper's almost finished the rolling now there's a bit down here that just got missed and as you'll have seen I had to come back with the drill because the helper had obviously missed a bit more over here as well so uh, at least it's sorted now but yeah that's my point about the helpers they do sometimes miss a bit so you just gotta watch it and make sure that they don't miss too much and if you miss a bit you have to come back and get it again like I did wouldn't have been a huge amount of crop loss by not doing it but I just thought it looks better if it's all done so I'll do it Okay, so that's this one done, and now I will head back up to the other field. Get that one rolled, that's a smaller field so it shouldn't take too long. And it looks like we are going to have enough slurry as well to finish the slurry spreading. Um, only got a tiny bit more to do, and I think we're going to get another full tank load, so yeah, there'll be plenty to finish that, which is good. So I'll just head back to that other field, get the heavens on that, and then uh, get the help to just finish it off while I just do the last of the slurry spreading. Okay, there we go that's the field complete for today obviously yeah, like I said I've got the spraying to do but that will be done once germination's happened so that's uh, all I can really do for today and it's going dark now anyway so it's a good time to end the episode I think but yeah quite a productive day today got quite a lot done there two fields completely finished um, and quite a lot of spreading done as well managed to get that all that big field spray which I wasn't expecting to do 
thought that would be a uh, probably leave off halfway and come back to it another time, but no, nope, managed to get that done, which I'm very happy about. So the final job is just to put this rolls away um, and get turned around. I think that's yeah, we could go this side, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. I think. So I'll just drop this off. There we go. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you again in the next one.